All right, so flight school has been opened. Flight school. Oh god. Oh, alright. Training takeoff. Welcome to flight school. My name is Jackson, with a J. <laughs> and I'll be your instructor. First things first. Let's see if we can get you into the air without killing yourself or someone else. Take off. Whoa. All right. Run ray landing. The landing's probably the most fun. That went really badly. Can I restart? <laughs> Executed like a pro! Now let's get the plane off the runway. Taxi over to the marked area. Oh. Let's try that again. Well, we learn how to. Oh, it goes from takeoff, landing, learn how to fly upside down. That seems like quite a big jump from that. In this lesson, you're going to be performing a couple of different stunts. We'll start you out with a few barrel rolls. And if that goes well, you can take a crack at flying upside down.
Right. But take off. This plane's right, a lot faster. Pilot, it's time for us to get a little crazy. First, I want you to get some altitude and head for that checkpoint marked at the end of the runway. Good. Okay. Let's see what you got. On my mark, perform a barrel roll by pulling your flight stick to the left or right. Okay. Perform a barrel roll. Stones of steel. <laughs> I like it. Now let's try a few of those in a row. Level out your plane and get ready. I want to see you do three barrel rolls in a row on my signal. Watch your altitude on this one. Okay, perform three barrel rolls in a row. Right. <laughs> I think I will. Let's try that again. I wish they started you off in the air. Alright, pilot. It's time for us to get a little crazy. First, I want you to get some altitude and head for that checkpoint marked at the end of the runway. Good. Okay. Let's see what you got. On my mark, Perform a barrel roll by pulling your flight stick to the left or right. Okay. Perform a barrel roll. Stones of steel. <laughs> I like it. Now let's try a few of those in a row. Level out your plane and get ready. I want to see you do three barrel rolls in a row on my signal. Watch your altitude on this one. Okay. Perform three barrel rolls in a row. Very nice! Are you getting dizzy in there yet? Go ahead and level out the plane again. Now let's see how you do upside down. On my word, roll over the plane and hold it steady. Oh, God. Okay, roll the plane upside down. Hold the plane upside down for several seconds. Learn how to fly sideways. This lesson will help you build your stick and rudder skills. You have to keep your plane steady while rolled over on either side. Perfecting this trick will really come in handy in the later lessons. Right. Flying's difficult in this game, it's really realistic. I got most of you, I don't like the fog. That's I think the render distance isn't there. The it's it's the really good. Then I'll talk you through it. Like a most games can't have that have to keep your render distance, but it still looks ugly. When I give you the signal, I want you to try to hold a knife edge with your plane. Okay, perform a knife edge. Perfect. Now hold that position. Don't forget to use your rudders to maintain altitude. Level out the plane. Good. Let's see if you can do the same thing on the other side. On my mark, roll your plane over to the opposite side and hold the position. Okay. Perform a knife edge on the other side. I'm going to crash. 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 Be hilarious in multiplayer. It's gonna be hilarious. I can't wait. <laughs> Take off and head for the checkpoint marked at the road. Oh, wow, you can go pretty then close. I'll talk you through it. I, don't know, I prefer being closer. 
it might be better to be far away just for the lesson, but I like being closer normally. When I give you the signal, I want you to try to hold a knife edge with your plane. Okay, perform a knife edge. Perfect. Now hold that position. Don't forget to use your rudders to maintain altitude. How did I do it first time? <laughs> I can't do it now. It's annoying that you have to take off. Take off and head for the checkpoint marked at the runway. Then, I'll talk you through it. A knife is one of the harder moves. You'll have to keep your wings steady and use your rudders to maintain altitude. When I give you the signal, I want you to try to hold a knife edge with your plane. Okay, perform a knife edge. Perfect. Now hold that position. Don't forget to use your rudders to maintain altitude. Here we go. Good. Let's see if you can do the same thing on the other side. On my mark, roll your plane over to the opposite side and hold the position. Okay, perform a knife edge on the other side. I think you could have done a little better out there, but there's always next time. I didn't. I'm. I never did. I never even got. I never. Well, in GT San Andreas, I know there was a flight school in San Andreas. I never even got that far because I never even. I got halfway through it, and then the game bug happened. Uh, and it. Actually, stop me from uh, getting this actually through the game. This obstacle course is designed to teach you how to get better control over your turns. The course goes around the harbor, and you have to stay low to make the checkpoints. You'll need to use oh. your rudders to help you make some of the sharp turns. I mean, look at that fog. I want you to use so far to navigate this course as fast as you can. Watch your altitude though. This is really a test of how low you can go and how well you can maneuver the plane. I think it's foggy on purpose. Awesome! Cause this fog is ridiculous. That fog is actually there on purpose, like to make the frame rate up. That's a really bad fog. I reckon that fog's there on purpose. Excellent yeah. job! I couldn't have done it much better myself. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. 
touchdown. Land the plane on a country war <laughs> on a countryside bridge. Crazy. I'm going to teach you how to perform an emergency landing. Remember to begin decelerating while you are still airborne for a smoother touchdown. Then, once you're on the ground, the brakes should bring you to a full stop very quickly. It, it seems like while you're in the like the actual flying is very realistic, but the landing isn't that realistic. Okay, do you see your checkpoint marked on the radar? You're going to practice an emergency landing on that bridge. I can barely see anything because it's night time and it's fog. Slow your approach as you descend onto the road. If you touch down smoothly, your plane is going to stop pretty fast. Not too bad, but there's still some room for improvement. Uh, that didn't go very well. <laughs> uh, let's try that again. Only got bronze. Okay, do you see your checkpoint marked on the radar? You're gonna practice an emergency landing on that bridge straight ahead. Slow your approach as you descend onto the road. If you touch down smoothly, your plane is going to stop pretty fast. <laughs> what was that? It just blew up. Okay. I don't really know how to land like this. Okay, do you see your checkpoint marked on the radar? You're gonna practice an emergency landing on that bridge straight ahead. Slow your approach as you descend onto the road. If you touch down smoothly, your plane is gonna stop pretty fast. Uh -huh. <laughs> Not too bad, but there's still some room for improvement. I wish there was a speedometer, because I don't, because the, the planes fly very weird. It's it's really difficult to tell how fast you're going, because it looks like you're going super slow, but you're actually going pretty fast. There's okay. no real sense of speed with the planes. The You're gonna practice an emergency landing on that bridge straight ahead. Slow your approach as you descend onto the road. If you touch down smoothly, your plane is gonna stop pretty fast. There you Very go. well done. Nailed it. Oh, Xbox is very loud. This game's killing it. It's gonna blow up. I had loop de loop, alright. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a long long video, it's gonna be like just the whole flight school. Take off and head for the marker at the end of the runway. Some pilots find these moves particularly tricky. 
So it might take you a few tries. In a few lives. Whoa. That looks cool, the lights lit up. Always make sure your plane is straightened out before you attempt an inside loop. On my mark, pull back hard on the flight stick and hold it. Okay, perform an inside loop. Get ready to level out the plane when you're near the end of the loop. That wasn't too bad for a rookie. Let's try it again. Just like before, steady the plane first, wait for my signal, and then pull back hard on the flight stick. Okay, perform an inside loop. Get ready to level out the plane when you're near the end of the loop. Now we're talking! You're doing good so far. I think we can squeeze in one more stunt. We'll combine the inside loop with the barrel roll to perform a roll off the top. Start with an inside loop, but only go halfway. When you're fully inverted, then roll the plane over. Now, when I give you the go-ahead, yank the flight stick back as hard as you can. Ready? Perform a roll off the top. Now, roll the plane right side up. Whoa. Good job! Yeah. Hard to believe you were only a That's beginner good. not that long ago. Alright, now for helicopters. First time flying a helicopter. You've been doing so well in the plane, we're gonna put you in a helicopter for this lesson. There are a few more controls than the stunt plane, but it's a little more forgiving. Try to finish the obstacle course without bursting into a ball of fire. And sign the waiver. You're right. So obviously, in GTA 4, all you had was helicopters. So, let's see what it's like. It's going to be crazy actually having planes in multiplayer. Doesn't seem too difficult. Look at, solid. Look at that fog. It's very foggy today. Perhaps it just has to be foggy when I'm flying. Oh, look at that blue light. Hey, I flew under a bridge. I think that might be a good idea. <laughs> Let's see, there's no like searchlight. It would have been cool if you could put like a light on. They're not too bad to fly. That's ridiculous. Oh no. 
Oh, that's fuck bullshit. Sore throat, so I'm coughing quite a lot. Well, not in the video. This is another helicopter lesson, but with a real emphasis on speed this time. Finish the obstacle course around the city before the timer runs out, and try not to crash. At the end of the course, you'll be required to safely land your helicopter. Right. Remember, this course is all about speed. And to maximize acceleration, keep the nose of the helicopter tipped. Just bear in mind that you're also losing altitude when the nose is pointed down. I really wish there was a cockpit view. Good work so far. Keep her at full speed. Wow, look at like this. The fog is gone now. This is nice. No way I'm gonna there's no way I was gonna get gold. Alright, not too bad. You made decent time. Skydiving. Alright, first time using parachutes.
That was good. Moving target. This lesson will involve skydiving onto a moving target. So I hope you brought a change of underwear. <laughs> the target will be circling around the runway, so watch it carefully and pay attention to the route. It may take several tries, but once you get this down, you'll be terrorizing drivers all over Los Santos. Wish it wasn't night time. Moving it's truck. To pull your shoe early than late. It will give you more time to track the target and try to match its speed. It's down there. God. I wish it would go faster. going to be difficult. Your final lesson is going to combine extremely dangerous stunts with highly populated city areas in an assault course oh, that will put ridiculous. everything you during your time at flight school to the test. For your sake, I hope you've been practicing knifing and flying upside down. All right. I want you to take your very best shot at this obstacle course. There are going to be special gates that will require you to fly upside down or knife through them. I guess if I don't do it, I get a penalty time. Penalty on my time. Get ready for the next gate. Since it's marked green, you'll have to perform a knife through it. But what way, though? There's no way I can go upside down. There's no way. This next gate is blue, so you're gonna have to fly through it upside down. Try to keep a good line. Quite. 
No, oh, there's no way I was gonna do that. Flying, flying upside down is ridiculously difficult. You've got to follow the okay, that was that buddy. was I did that. That's bollocks, I did that. I did the nice thing then, it didn't work. I would have done that if I'd That was a good run! You've really made a lot of progress. Yeah. I can do that, I just don't know. It's just difficult to fly upside down. Alright, so that's flight school. There you go. All flight school.